Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on the factor theorem. Here is the exam question. f of x is equal px cubed minus 7x squared minus x plus q, where p and q are constants. Given that 2x plus 1 is a factor of f of x, part a, show that 8 q minus p is equal to 10. Please pause the video, have a go at part a. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part a. Ladies and gents, we know that 2x plus 1 is a factor of f of x. So 2x plus 1 is a factor of f of x. This implies that f of minus a half is equal to 0 using the factor theorem. Now I can substitute x equal minus a half into the function f. So I get p in bracket minus a half cubed minus 7 in bracket minus a half squared minus in bracket minus a half plus q equal zero. I've got an equation involving p and q. I'm going to simplify the equation. So if I simplify the equation, I get minus one over eight p minus five over four plus q equal zero. Now I can take the minus five over four to the right hand side. This gives me minus one over eight p plus q equal five over four. So I want to get from a five over four to a 10. I can multiply the entire equation by 8. So if I multiply the entire equation by 8, ladies and gents, this gives me 8q minus p equal 10, as required. This completes part A of the exam question. Moving on to part B. Given that x minus 1 is also a factor of f of x, part B, find the value of p and the value of q. Please pause the video, have a go at part B. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. So we know that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. This implies that f of 1 is equal to 0 using the factor theorem. So now we can substitute x equal 1 into the function f. So I get p in bracket 1 cubed minus 7 in bracket 1 squared minus 1 in bracket plus q equal 0. I've got an equation involving p and q. I can simplify the equation. So if I simplify this equation, I get p minus 8 plus q equal 0. Now I can take the minus 8 to the right hand side. This gives me p plus q equal 8. So I've got two equations involving p and q. The equation in part a is 8q minus p equal 10. I can call this equation 1. The equation in part b is p plus q equal 8. I can call this equation 2. I need to solve 1 and 2 simultaneously. Ladies and gents, I can use the method of substitution. In equation 2, we can make q the subject. So q is equal 8 minus p. We can call this equation 3. Substitute equation 3 into equation 1. Doing this gives me 8 in bracket 8 minus p minus p equal 10. We can expand the bracket. So we've got 64 minus 8p minus p equal 10. Clean up the equation. We've got 64 minus 9p equal 10. Take the 64 to the right hand side. Minus 9p is equal minus 54. Hence p has to equal minus 54 divided by minus 9, which is 6. I'm going to substitute p equals 6, for example, into equation 1. So e dot g dot sub p equals 6 into equation 1. So if I do this, I get 8q minus 6 equal 10. Now we can rearrange to make q the subject. So 8q is equal 16, hence q is equal 16 divided by 8, which is 2. Right, so therefore, p is equal 6, q is equal 2. And that completes part b of the question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question on the factor theorem. If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.